Okay, here we are back in Octopath Traveler. We have arrived in Boulderfall, and we are here to recruit Therion. Hello to you. Welcome to Boulderfall, the largest settlement here in the Clifflands. Inquire. Half a year passed, this woman came to Boulderfall with her husband in search of a new life, though he labors tirelessly for her and her unborn child. She has not failed to notice how his once bright eyes have grown dim, and wonders what troubles may weigh on his mind. So we get thieving tips and tricks. Hey, there we go. I forgot how that worked exactly, but now I know. So let's talk provisioner. I was hoping for more provisions than this. Oh well. I have a nice handful of items. I shouldn't need that many. What is it, youngin? The cliffside stairs take you down to the commoner's district. It can get rough down there, so watch yourself. Let's inquire, shall we? If I need to be level 10. <laughs> Here in Boulderfall, the poor types live below, the wealthy live up top. Us? I guess we're somewhere in the middle. Inquire. Once upon a time, a boy vowed to write his name in legend as a bandit king. He dreams of a way of changing and fading with time. And so it was that a man grown, a vagabond, who had stumbled from town to town, leaving chaos in his wake. Eventually settled down with a woman bold enough to steal his heart. Now we get a discount at the end. This is the end itself. Hmm, not bad. This is Therion. Talk to him to start his chapter. Hello. The staircase to the east leads to Ravis Manor. The truth is... The most well guarded place in town, and they all, they turn almost everyone away at the gate. Tell me more. A born entrepreneur, this youth concocted a scheme with an armor to sell arms to the rogues and ruffians of Boulderfall. He is wholly unconcerned with the affairs of the town and the potential repercussions of his actions, as long as I have no bearing on his profits. So I ignored this area the first time around, but there is stuff to get here, because I think you can get items from the dogs. Good day! All's well around the western gate. This guard, who first entered the service of House Ravis ten years ago, is valued by the captain not only as a reliable second-in-command, but as a trusted confidant. In turn, he worries over the captain's tendency toward overexertion, and has probably appealed to Lady Cordelia on his behalf. And that's all we get. Never. This is the residence of House Ravis. No letter of introduction, no entry. Tell me more. This green recruit in service to House Ravis hails from a small village in the woodlands, which he left to earn his fortune. However, the relenting scorn of his superiors has led him to reconsider his decision. It is only their rare kindness that deters him from slipping away in the dead of night. Hoy. This is the manner of House Ravis. Only those on official business may enter. Level 10. Not a chance. Those without proper identification are not allowed to pass. Tell me more. For half a year, this man faithfully served House Ravis. For mercenary, he sought out his current position that he might provide better for his wife and unborn child. Well, the family is indeed better for it. He has struggled with the unreasonable demands placed upon him by his patron. So he's the husband of the married woman. Or the woman by the gate, the greeter, if you want to call her that. Listen up! I train these dogs myself to tear any would-be intruder limb from limb. Isn't that right, boys? Every year, the kennel master of House Ribs trains a new pack of hounds to service guard dogs. Though his methods are harsh, his results are undeniable, and those which pass, mu pass muster are allowed to control the manor as they please. So let's challenge with these. Oh, that's for Hanit. Or not Hanit, Wolf Barrack. The lone lady of the lot, this dog left behind her home of Grandport. Not a moment past that she does not think her beloved whom she yearns desperately to see again. But until that promise day comes, she will carry out her duties faithfully. One might describe this dog from Everhold as the embodiment of canine virtue, given the unbridled devotion he has for his master. Oh, betide the feet, foolish enough to harm those he adores, for he will fall upon that villain with great vengeance and furious anger. Not all dogs have been in a charge fearlessly into battle and risk life and limb. This one bears no great love towards his master and would like nothing more than to quit this place and return to his home of Victor's Hollow. So we got some boots. A dirty ball of cloth. And an elusive shield. Pretty 
Christmas. I don't know if I gave that to, um, what's his name? Therion or not. Last time around, but they'll allow Elfin to dodge some stuff for now. I might have gave it to him at the end of the chapter because I didn't go up there until after I did Therion stuff. I guess the only place for us to go is down. This is where the shop is, by the way. In case you were looking. A good day to you. Folk on the middle level are a reasonable lot. At least they don't look down their noses at us like those snooty nobles. Doesn't mean they all think highly of each other, though. A man who fell from grace through betrayal and circumstance and came to live within the slum town. For a time, he nursed dreams of revenging himself upon the noble families who were on his own. But now he thinks how he might better the lot of his fellow downtrodden. Oh. You want something from me? Abandoned by her father more than a decade ago, this lifelong resident of the slum town took to heart the man's parting words and resigned herself to a hopeless existence in the bottom of society's stare. Nevertheless, those around her have insisted upon educating her to the best of their ability. That's kinda dark. Well, man, what can I do for you? So I'm not even gonna bother with reputation. I'm just gonna be a petty thief, I guess. So let's see what all we got here. I have the arcane hatchet already. I'm not buying that anytime soon. I lose a little bit of power, but I get a lot of evasion. This one's just a straight upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, I can afford one for Ethereon. I don't remember what all he comes with. So you can see this area is much smaller than above. And with no one else to talk to, it is time to commence the next chapter of the game. Which is The Thief, Chapter 1. The famed treasure of House Rapus indeed. His name is Therion, and he is a thief. He is a lone wolf, as working as sharp as the harsh peaks of the Clifflands. Roaming from town to town, he has drifted into Boulderfall. He works alone, but it was not always so. A few know his past, or have even seen his face. But tales of his exploits are told far and wide. He has heard a rumor of a mark too tempting to resist. A treasure said to be impossible to steal. And so he sets out to test the security of the Great House Ravis. He will need cunning allies in the path he has chosen. So find comrades, add them to your party, seek out your fellow travelers, and they'll ask you for your help. Complete chapter one of their story, and they'll join you on your journey. After chapter one, you can change party members at the tavern. So once you take this on, you cannot leave. you like it. I heard that thief's at it again. Really? What's he done this time? Lifted everything off a merchant, leaving the girls for me. Guess he didn't get his bill at that fancy man of the other still can't believe he made it past all those cards. I'm sure the more the better for him. Hmm. 
they were more like decorations than actual guards. Ain't no point swooning over someone else's work. Someday we'll make it as big as that thief, and then we'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> yeah, you said it, partner. Partners in crime, huh? Ten years ago, our paths crossed in a particularly dingy gull. I remember that meeting well. After all, it had quite the influence on my career. Oi! Get in. And? Not even a please? Bah! You won't last long in here with that foul mouth walk. Ha! <laughs> No, you seem to be doing just fine. Huh? And beat him, Brad. You'll learn the manners the hard way, just like the rest. Huh. Hey. So you got the same old welcome I did. No good tea leaf got caught in the act, just like yourself. Oh, really? Just like me, huh? Well, you look a lot worse. <sighs> well, I'll get used to seeing this ugly boat, because I ain't getting prettier anytime soon. These guards think they can beat the attitude out of us. Eh, they don't go easy on no one here, at least small teapots like us. right now. Here. Try using this instead. <laughs> the key? Where'd you get this? Ha! <laughs> Snatch from the guard once he's all riled up. <laughs> Look at the cobblers in this one. Out here. Name's Darius, mate. Therion. Partner. Well, Therion, looks like you and I are officially partners in crime. Like Penguin and Joker from the Silver Age of Comics. Ah, sweet memories. Fill it up. He's trying to forget those memories. There you go. Beg pardon. Would you happen to be after them? Ravis's treasure? If you are, I suggest you think again. Heard another would-be fortune hunter was tossed in the dungeon yesterday. So what's the count now? A score? Maybe more? But House Ravis ain't known to be kind to those who covet their wealth. Still, poor thieves can't help but flock to that manor like moths to a flame. Suppose it's all those rumors of their riches that keep them coming. Some say it's enough to buy up the whole town and then some. Just one town? What about the neighbors? Can't say for sure. No one's ever seen the treasure. 
Even that master thief they keep talking about would have more than his hands full. A perfect tale for the tavern. Look, when you've been in the business long enough, you can tell things at a glance. You're a smart and skilled young man. Probably have a long career ahead of you. That's why I'll say it once more. Stay away from that manor. Thanks for the advice. Next time, I'll have a tale of my own to tell. They say that Rivers' manor up at the top of the mountain were only... Rivers' manor is up, up at the top of the mountain where only the richest of the rich live. So, Therion is pretty squishy. As a result, you want to pick up some stuff to make him more agile. Now, we can only afford one of these at the moment. So, this gives you 16 defense, 23 elemental, and 42 evasion. So, yeah, the black attire is just the superior pick. I don't know if you could actually steal it from someone. I forgot what all you could take. Oh. You want something from me? And you can't steal yet. That's interesting. So I'm just going to move the storyline forward so that I can actually loot everything when I come back around. I don't think the people really say anything different, but we'll grab that while we're here, I guess. Or not. What do we have here? If I know better, I'd say they were overcompensating for something. Alright! Change posts. Oi! You there. Yes. Yes, sir. Listen up. Stop dragging your feet. Walk with purpose. My apologies. Yes, sir. <sighs> We're getting paid a fortune for this job. Do it with pride. Well, I'll be damned. It's like an army. Just what kind of place is this? Hmm. Those guard dogs look vicious. And that's not all. The walls are lined with wire. Move and I'll sound an alarm, no doubt. Yep, trying to scale the walls would be more trouble than it's worth. Huh? What's this now? Listen! What part of no visitors allowed do you not understand? Exactly. The Ravises have more important matters to attend to than entertain a roofer like yourself. <laughs> Take long, I swear, I'm merely a merchant looking to... Yeah. A merchant, you say? Prove it. <sighs> Prove what? I came to show the lady in the house some of the finest fabrics in the world. <sighs> We're supposed to just take you at your word. <laughs> if you can't show us proof, you can show yourself out. Oh, never thought the front door would be this 
knows his way in. Time to get my hands on some proof. Iron Helm. I don't know if he's able to equip that, because I think that's heavier than he's going to carry. Um, yeah, you could, but lose a little bit of elemental defense. Still it's worth it, I'd say. What do we have here? Well, if it isn't our merchant friend. No! Those bloody ravises, don't they know some of us actually have to work for a living? Oh, yes. Turn away at the gate, join the club. <sighs> you too? Why? <laughs> they're doing it to everyone. Rumor has it they're guarding some great treasure inside. I'm not after their treasure. I just wanted to show the lady the house my wares. And they told me I needed proof. As if this sack of silk dresses isn't proof enough. Right. Indeed. You'll need a letter of introduction to get inside. Uh, a letter of what? The truth is, House Ravis only does business with the most esteemed merchants and traders. Ah. So how can I get one of these letters? It's not easy, that's for sure. First, you'll have to make a name for yourself here in town. Once you've proven yourself a reliable trading partner, then, and only then, will the Ravises write you a letter. That said, you can count the number of people who've earned one on one hand. Well, that sounds like an awful lot of work. Are you sure there's no other way? <laughs> I can think of at least one. I'll do what thieves do best. Lift it from the pocket of someone who's done the work for me. So now we have access to his path action steal. Press Y in front of a townsperson, and you can steal their stuff. But this only applies to the ones you can talk to. No one's in here. So yeah, taking that money might have been a mistake, because I could have afforded both pieces of equipment. Hey, whoever heard of a merchant need to prove who they are? Ah, what do they expect me to do? I'll be taking this earring. I trust you'll be missing this. Hey, yo! The only way to win the favor of the Ravis is with a letter of introduction. Do you have one by any chance? Nope. So the soul stones are what you need if you do his first, I believe, because these will allow you to deal all sorts of damage types. Should have actually gone live already, but I've been interrupted like every 15 minutes. Just out of curiosity, how long do you plan on following me? Huh? So you noticed? Huh. <laughs> For thieves, you aren't very discreet. <laughs> You're keener than most, friend. <laughs> Answer we. We can tell you've come for the Ravis fortune. <laughs> if the army's right in the manor is any indication, it's more than worth the trouble. Hmm. And have you actually seen this treasure? Oi, oi. We don't need to see it, just look at what they've got guarding it. <laughs> Guards, dogs, traps, you name it, they got it. And? And you came all this way to warn me. How thoughtful. I suppose so. Look, we've got a proposal for you. No thanks. And I've got an answer. No. Hmm. 
Listen. It's starting to hiccup. up. You just hear us out, mate. We can help each other. Yeah. But where here has been inside? He's seen the traps they've set up close. <laughs> Hell, he walked straight into one and set off an alarm. Oh, shut up. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Anyway, I think I'm just fine. We're here now. So what do you say? It won't be easy to carry all that treasure on your own. We're offering you a helping hand. Nope. I've already got two hands. That's enough for me. Damn you. So you think you're too good for us, is that it? Huh. I'm a thief, not a nanny. Say again? You're an ungrateful bastard, that's what you are. Are we done here? Listen, I don't have time to inter entertain you clowns. I have places to be. Hey! You're not going anywhere. Bye now. Get out of my sight. Shikes! Are you with me, mate? Speak to me. Thieves. Let none escape! You won't get away. <laughs> They're on us. Partner. Dares, this way. Oh, got it. Person! Damn, we lost them. Find them! They can't have gone far. Let's check the back alley. Alright. They're gone. We should be safe for now. Mm -hmm. That went better than expected. <laughs> I wish I could have seen the looks on their faces. <laughs> they deserved it for treating us like teapots. <laughs> we might be small, but we're smarter than they'll ever be. <laughs> I can say that again. We put our loaves together and no one can stop us. Butchers said all the look we all the loot we got. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite the haul. <laughs> Show a little more enthusiasm, mate. This is all ours now. Right. We knew what we wanted and we took it with our own hands. Partner. That's the spirit. All the world's treasures are ours for the taking. Partner. You say so, partner. That's Roy. I do. Mark my words, we're going to be the greatest tea leaves the world have ever seen. I'm not entirely sure what his obsession with the word tea is, though. Hmm. Darius. This is no time for nostalgia. I need to get myself one of those letters. So real quick, I actually am going to go equip that knife. So we lose... Oh no, we don't lose that on the evasion, so it even occasionally poisons crap. I'll be taking this pomegranate. Is it yummy? Lisa takes you to the Commoner District. Oops. So the stealing percentages get lower as the game progresses and it scales off of the uh, yeah, Therion's level. So I don't know what the entire breakpoints are exactly, just be aware if you want to steal something, you could always try to level up, try to hit a breakpoint or something. The whole double-edged sword thing, though, is... Just make sure I got it wrong. I think we'll be able to get back up there. Um, whole double-edged sword though, to this, though, is if you wait too long, the equipment you're trying to get may be obsolete. So the Rebel's Axe is a key item. I thought this was actually a weapon for um, 
Alfin, but we'll see. And that's the same for all the rebel weapons. I don't know if those have a greater purpose. It's just as is. I'm gonna collect them so I have them when the time comes. Well, you've been in the business as long as I. When you've been in the business as long as I have, the ribs is begging you for a visit. <laughs> it's all about experience. Time to get to work. Lucky for me, your experience hasn't taught you how to keep your mouth shut. Over there in a moment. First, I need a drink. Nothing here to drink. Oh. Is there no end to this blowhard's incessant boasting? <laughs> when I get a room spanner, try to learn a thing or two from yours truly. Don't mind if I do. Trust me, I'm missing this. Now, then. Pleasure doing business with you. Now to pay a visit to Rubus Manor. Oh, they're gonna warp me there, aren't they? Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna sneak in the mansion. Yeah, what is it? You wanna pair up with me on this? You sure you're feeling alright? Mark's house, Ravis. Just keep quiet and try not to get in the way, okay? Furion is joining the party. So, Iron Axe, Iron Spear, Composite Bow. Worst can worse, I can sell these. And stealing does ruin your reputation, but the thing is, the whole reputation thing means almost nothing in the grand scheme of things. It might change one or two small things, but it's nothing significant. So actually, one thing I want to check before we move forward. Nope, never mind. I want to see if that merchant was still down there, if we could inquire anything with Alpha. Two guards at the gates. If I can fool them, I'm in. Time to sell the merchant. Oh well, we'll, tr we'll try to look uh. into it after this chapter. Good day, sirs. I've come to call on the Ravises. Would you kindly announce my arrival? Oi. They're not seeing anyone today. Begone with you at once. Begone, I say. Something tells me this one's bark is worse than its bite. My sincerest apologies. Well, let me introduce myself. You see, I'm a merchant of some repute. <laughs> a merchant? And of repute, you say? Don't make me laugh. You ought not to judge a man by his robes. As a matter of fact, I was personally summoned by the lady of the house. I doubt she would react kindly upon hearing I was turned away. What? Summoned you. <laughs> you think you're going to believe that, Codswallop? <laughs> if we had a leaf for every round thief who gave us that story, we'd be as rich as the Ravises. But since we aren't, we're here protecting their fortune from would-be swindlers like you. I thought you got out smartest, didn't you? The next time you're summoned, remember to bring your letter. Oh. Uh -huh. Would you be referring to this letter, perchance? What the? Hey. How did you get that? It must be a fake. Desperate times. Now for the finishing blow. If you still aren't convinced, I fear there's not much else I can do. I'll take my leave, but I will give Lady Rebus a full report on what happened today. I wonder how she'll see fit to deal with this affront to her name. Oh, hold on! Wait, sir, we're only doing our jobs. <clears throat> yeah. My gratitude. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. Now then. Now the real fun begins. Oh, 
we'll just sneak in through that window over there. But we are allowed to move around here if the demo is to be trusted. Because there's stuff to get. So, earlier on, one of the guards had an item appear when I inquired. That should be this, the war spear. Huh! I wasn't shirking my duty, it was right here at my post. Tell me more, would you? The guard who spends all day staring at the sky might seem to be neglecting his duties, but nothing could be further from the truth. Rather, I'm gazing at the clouds drifting overhead and contemplating the banality of existence. He has awakened to the reality that he is a figment of a dead god's imagination. Oh, that's dark. Give me your wallet. Hey, like stealing candy from a baby. Broadsword. sword. Is that what he's actually using already, he being Therion? Speed boost. And I'll refrain from making any broad jokes. We'll save that for Disguise if I ever get Disguise 5 on the Switch. In case you're wondering, I am contemplating it. So notice the map is red when I run. That tells you that this is an area with enemies. Let's save here, shall we? Let's see what you got. So keep in mind if you had Cyrus, you'd be able to see this guy's weakness already. He's weak to a knife at the very least. Bring it on! And an axe. <laughs> so we're gonna try the brass. There you go, the trifecta. Don't start things you can't finish. Good advice. So we got a fire soul stone, which is pretty handy. And real quick, I am going to pull open the job thing, because I never actually looked at Therion's when I played the demo. So you have steel, costs 2 SP. Oh, I didn't even look at his thing in battle yet. I remember Wildfire, I tried using that. So you steal HP on half the damage, reduce the... F Ooh, that one's pretty neat. That one's pretty good, too. Okay, I may want this one first. He has a really nice skill set. Wow. Anyway. I'm gonna take the revive, just in case. So now we have inspiration, you know, skills equip support skills, choose which skills you want to use, give it a try. So uh, all you need to do to reap the benefits of these handy skills is to equip them. But once you get them, you make sure you equip them, you can equip up to four skills at one time. <laughs> so that's gonna alleviate the whole Okay, only a standard attack. The whole problem with him running out of SP. So I may actually try that burst this time around. Can't go around that way. Inspiring Plum. Mm, I'd say it was worth a What a tangle, Same dude huh? as before. My turn. I don't know which one actually deals more damage. Because the other one has the force chance. <laughs> that is nice. All right. <laughs> Try again. So the last video I mentioned it'd be nice if you had some sort of way to recover SP. That is exactly what I wished for. So real quick, I want to take a look over here. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Whoa. So I'm going to try to fill out the list of what all they are weak to. We know the dagger is not one of them. <laughs> Bring it on. Axe is. <laughs> Bring it on. Gonna knock this turn. Out. My turn. <laughs> That one's back up. Bring it on. You know what? Oh, right. We'll cut loose in this one. 
<laughs> so those last two slots are most likely elementals. I don't know if that's Therion's fire or Alpha's ice. Got an ice soul stone. So it probably is a fire weakness. Healing grape. So yeah, that's my reward for coming back. <laughs> this is the beginning of your end. Bring it on! <laughs> my turn. Here we go! <laughs> ha! Try again! So the one double-edged sword to the whole way I get my SP back now is... I have incentive to try to boost his physical attack to then supplement his magical stuff. So it's a bit of a conflict of interest because you probably want to give your physical boosting nuts to characters who actually are innately good with physical. I don't know how easy or hard those nuts are going to be to come by later on. Here we go! <laughs> my turn. Now the good news is with first eight only costing four, I can actually get the cost back. Where's the nearest tavern? It wouldn't even be a problem. Haven't been paying attention to the JP at all, but here. nothing in that room. So don't forget there's a locked chest all the way at the end of this hall. I have to admit, I really do like the game's art stuff. Come on, I've got better things. It's not to really do. fancy, Bring I'd say, on. but it's well executed. Out of my way. <laughs> Out of my way. Here goes. Uh, so I did not get the Wayfarer's edition, That's so I don't know the story about. will pop up with the call it. I'm one of those people who could not justify spending 40 bucks on that. <laughs> Money! Nothing in there. <laughs> you won't feel a thing! <laughs> Make sure you all right. Here we go. And I'm gonna hit him with ice skull here just to try it. It's nice damage, but not enough to be in the My turn. I'll try fire. Where's the nearest tavern? Level up. Real quick, I need to do the skill screen. So the next skill is 500. But anyway, so this is actually, I didn't notice this cost 6 SP, <laughs> that's actually bad news because this early on in the game this is not going to do much for me. So I'm going to go for the Armor Corrosive this time around. HP Thief would be a pretty good skill too as a way to kind of heal yourself. trade evasion for it, which is what sucks, so I'm not going to do it. When I pick up Primrose, I'll probably give that to her. I know I told someone I was going to get Cyrus third, but I'll after exploring how the whole darks are Here we go. order, chaos thing isn't yes. any effective, I guess. So. Don't play. Like, there's no real consequence to it. Here goes I don't mind stacking up on the Dark Knight's first. Ha, try so the one bad news about that move is it did cost me more than I benefited, but I just wanted to fill in that little node. I don't know if we're going to encounter these enemies again, if they're going to get as badly recycled as the Grand. So, we're just taking precautions in the event that does happen. I'll make this quick. My turn. Here goes nothing. 
Here goes nothing. So one thing I didn't point out is I don't think I think it's level 10 now, or is he level 10? <laughs> Try again! Because I should be able to see level 10. Okay, so I need one more level, and then I can actually go back and do those inquires that I wasn't able to do before. Whether or not I actually hit that off of those is to be seen. There's nothing here, seriously? Eh. Oh well. Let's see what you got. For those that actually saw me do the demo, you'll notice I didn't actually go into any of those rooms to play the demo. Since this is the live game, I am seriously going to go for everything. And then the fact that I didn't actually do this in the demo is more reason to try and carry on in chapter one. Get his stuff. Healing grape. Right there is the boss fight, in case you're wondering. I'll make this quick. Hey, I finally ran into more. Here goes nothing. My turn. It's kind of hoping for poison there. <laughs> Out of my way. Here goes nothing. It's gonna boost next turn. So keep on speed doesn't actually give you more turns because this is a turn-based system. The advantage to more speed is you'd actually go first and you could break someone's guard and stop their attack, that type of thing. Hence why I don't think the window tire is valuable here. It might be valuable for Primrose or someone else. What does the Invigorate not do? But that's one of those things that we have to wait and see. It's kind of hoping they'd have their own little pouch, but yeah. I'm gonna hold off on that because I don't know how the SP pools are gonna look later on in the game. I used one for the sake of using it, but I'm not gonna go crazy. The return that I get from hitting stuff is based off the damage I deal, not in my SP pool. So I'll just keep going. Here we go. You can see it's one percent rounded up. And that's that. So I'm kind of wondering what the level cap in this game is going to be. Bottle befuddling dust. Anything say the word. Why are you peddling? Nothing of interest to me. Can't rob the guy. So we actually flew through this matter. <laughs> I didn't actually time the dungeon with Alfin, but that was kind of crazy how fast it went. So here's the boss fight for Therion. So, this is the amazing treasure everyone is talking about. It looks like an ordinary gemstone to me. can't imagine it's worth all that much. The jewel before you is worth more than your mind could hope to fathom. <sighs> your inability to discern as much is disconcerting, to say the least. Who the hell are you? So I'm going to chime in here real quick before I let this all play out. So remember there are four chapters per character, and if you want to know what's going to go on in Therion's, just look at the tables behind you. Blue, chapter one, and then there are three others, three chapters to go, and there you go. So now I'm going to go quiet until the boss fight begins. Not just anyone can sneak up on me like that. I should be the one asking you that question. Not just anyone could have made it this far into the manor, after all. You won't get answers by stroking my ego. I meant it as nothing but genuine praise. Allow me to congratulate you on being the first thief to make it here. You say it as if you wanted this to happen. Just so. We tightened security for that very purpose. We figured no thief worth his salt would be able to turn down such a challenge. Go on. 
to this end, we even ask the barkeep for help. His job? Find promising thieves and spin tales about this manner. In other words, you tricked thieves into trying to rob this place. Think of it more as appealing to their inner nature. The great treasure of Ravus Manor, guarded by a veritable army. What thief could pass up such glory, such riches? We had such high hopes, but were constantly met with disappointment. But finally, one has proven himself worthy. I should have seen this coming. And yet you did not. And I find myself most grateful for your lack of foresight. So what's your angle? I need not explain that to you. <sighs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Heathcote. I am a butler in the service of House Ravis. You expect me to believe an ordinary butler snuck up on me? Anyway. Who you are won't matter once I'm out of here. Now, if you'll excuse me. I assure you, you won't be going anywhere anytime soon. What? Let's get this over with. Okay, now since we don't have Therion as oh, our right. MC, the boss has reinforcements. If we were just doing this as Therion, it would just be Heathcote here, and I believe he would actually have four points of defense like the Snake did, but now he has six. So, keep in mind when we go to Primrose, whoever her boss is, is going to have two helpers, and then once we go to Haunted, that boss is going to have three. And that's where having some reinforcements could be nice. So, let's see. I want Injurious Seed combined with Nox Root. How do you like this? Okay, so that actually is a fire bomb. <laughs> a very, very weak one, but it uh, took off two points of his defense. So let's stab him with a dagger. He should be weak too. Is he weak to the axe, I wonder? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Okay, we got that one. Over here! Here goes nothing. So I'm gonna hit him with ice just out of curiosity. Cool off! That's good. So I'm gonna try to steal from him in a moment. Caught you had me? Nope, we're All stealing right. from him now. My turn. I don't know what all he has, that's why I want to do this. It would be nice if Steel was free, but... Yeah. <laughs> Here we go! Cool off! That soldier in the back may actually be Here goes nothing. too. <laughs> yeah, bags. They should both be weak to fight. Over here! <laughs> Out of my way. So in case you're wondering, I don't want to cut loose. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if you can steal more than one thing. Empty head. What's yours? Seriously, game? Seriously. Wait for that defense to up to timeout. Bring it on! <laughs> Out of my way. It's your I don't know if the probability of success is correlated to the HP. Over here. That's here kind of nothing. what I'm suspecting at the moment. Anyway, time to cut this. Oh, right. So I told people I would do cool this. Off. 
Oh! What? I thought it was a rapid fire, not a mega cast. That's actually kind of cool. What? But anyway, we want to do the dagger since that's what he's weak to. All right. You know what? Let's keep doing this. Cool off. I poisoned him with the dagger, by the way. You can see. Me? Time to heal. Let's do this. Here goes nothing. And then I'm gonna look and see how the numbers have changed. That'll but anyway, right here I need to actually start hitting people with my axe to get some MP back. <laughs> See, that is your life. Bring it on! <laughs> What's your life? That's actually pretty good. That item is worth a thousand. Bring it on! Their money is called. <laughs> that actually hurt. My turn. Anyway, the poison has expired. We can start cleaving through his defense right. again. <laughs> Ready to evade attacks with ease. So he has an evasion. Senses are heightened. Here we go. I can try to break him in a moment, but I want to wait for those things to expire. I'm curious. Let's do this. So that just erased the buff. Didn't actually. Bring it on. <laughs> Out of my way. Here we go. Poison him. Next time I'm going to cut loose on him once his buff expires. My turn. Yes. Oh, you had me? Alright, let's get down to work! You know what I'm gonna do three. I'm looking to kill him while getting some SP back, and overall it still wasn't really worth it. Whoa! <laughs> so oh, are you? <laughs> Alright! Okay, so that's only a physical defense buff. Out of my it's way. not actually doing anything for the uh, Here we go. magic spells that I dish out. That was a critical hit on Alphen. Alphen's getting a little banged up. <laughs> Is there a defense option? Here we go! <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. All right! <laughs> Bring it on! Cool off! 
Possibly another steal. Yes. From side to side. Here goes nothing. So this sucks. I have to give up two turns. <laughs> no, he's gonna don't. do it now. Oh, it. <laughs> okay, so maybe he goes last if he does that because I was looking at the turn gauge up top. So you can see, as is next turn, Alphen is going to go first. I don't know why. Therion will go last. Here goes nothing. Let's prime him. He's going to look to kill him this turn. Unless he summons a reinforcement. Bring it on. Let's get down to work. Cool off. Good night. Ha! Try again! Hey. Or wait, is that the stuff that I stole, or do we get those on top of that? Because that would be an interesting mechanic for the stealing. It gives you drop guarantee. So, you can hold your own in battle as well. It seems I underestimated you. That makes two of us. Was that a part of your butler training? I see you still have some reservations about my true profession. Though I'm sure my victory here lends my words no credit. Your victory? What in the... Any thief worth his salt should recognize that band. The mark of a convict. The fool's bangle, as some call it. Undeniable proof of a thief's humiliating blunder. Get this off of me! I do not take my orders from you. I've attached it to your arm for a reason. If anyone is to see it, they shall know of your failure here today. Why, you? However, I imagine your pride will not permit you to be seen with it. And that makes it perfect leverage for negotiations. Negotiations? have broken into my home, but for now, I will overlook your transgressions. Oh, great. More company. Pardon my belated introduction. My name is Cordelia Ravis, and I am the Lady of the House. Regards to your decorator, they sure have a way with traps. Allow me to explain. The treasure you are after is a family heirloom known as the Dragonstones. Yeah, don't say. The Dragonstones have been in my family for generations. Wait, Dragonstones? I see one. Yes, once there are more. But the stones were stolen during the chaos following my parents' passing. 
Fortunately, Heathcote was able to recover the Sapphire Stone. What touching devotion. Is this the part where I move to tears? Perhaps, once you understand your place in this story. If you collect the three remaining stones, we shall remove the band from your arm. So, this was your plan all along. Yes, but please understand, I had no choice. Well, aren't you too clever? Setting a thief to catch a thief. Don't thieves often say, the ensnared has only himself to blame? Yeah, they do. For a butler, you sure know a lot about thieves, old man. I dare not bore you with my story when there are more pressing matters at hand. Will you undertake Miss Ravis's mission, young thief, if you refuse? I'll do the job. Excellent. Then I pray your journey will be a successful one. Oh, you're back. With a tale to tell, too. I'll trade it for a drink. Afraid I don't deal in that currency. Listen, I just came from Ravis Manor. Had a lovely chat with a fellow named Heathcote. Maybe you know him? I did warn you not to go there. So, was it everything you expected it to be? All that and more, and now I'm awfully thirsty. I might need two drinks to get this bad taste out of my mouth. <laughs> Coming right up. And that is the end of chapter one. So I think... Oh, wait, no, there are still our people to rob here. We'll go hit them up, and then I'll head out for... Shade... something. I forgot what her town is called. Resource-wise, we're pretty banged up. Okay, we stole from him. So don't forget, we still have these marks. Herb of Awakening. So yeah, Alfin's whole concoction system was actually a little bit more transparent. I think he really would be one of the better characters of the game because he'd be so versatile. He'd be able to hit the enemy's weakness. Can do that? He'd be able to hit the enemy's weakness regardless of what actually it was. Then that also depends on what was there. So this guy is. Here. This is the manor of House Ravis. Only those on official business may enter. I'm not seen. Like I see the oh okay up at the top. I need 15 EXP, so I may go out of ta town and get that real quick. In the meantime, let's go ahead and steal this stone. Now that I realize, I forgot to equip the accessory. You can't steal from the house. That's lame. Bone. Pomegranates. So don't forget the pomegranates can give you boost points in case you really want to burst down something very, very quick with extreme prejudice. That is an option. So real quick, we're going to duck outside of town. I don't know if I'm going to show the fights or not. What are your guys' thoughts? Do the fights actually interest you in these games? Because that... So we got two marks here. And then I'll hit the one back in, um... Oh. Got a little bit more. Mr. Therion! 
Mr. Therion, please wait! Ugh, what now? I came to see you off on your journey. As it is at my behest that you're setting out. Look, I'm just fulfilling my half of a bargain. Nothing more, nothing less. I understand that, but... He's right, milady. This is simply an agreement between us and a skilled but short-sighted thief. Exactly. There is something you should know before you go. As you saw, I recovered a blue stone. It is known as the Sapphire Dragonstone. The remaining three are the Dragonstones of Ruby, Emerald, and Gold, each named for its sheen. And if I steal them all back for you, you'll remove this band. You have my word. Your word? Well, that sounds legitimate. Any idea where I should start looking? Rumor has it that a scholar in Noble Court is researching the Ruby Dragonstone. Noble Court. Great. I'll fit right in. Mr. Therion! What is it this time? Please, do take care out there. Did I say something amiss? Never thought a man of my talents would be working for someone like... Uh, it's... nothing. You'll get your stones back soon. Just leave the thieving to me. And so Therion set forth his mission, which he begrudgingly accepted, to retrieve the remaining three dragonstones of House Ravis, that he might have the mark of shame removed from his arm, but he didn't know what fate awaited him. So I guess Noble Court is where you'll find Chapter 2 of him. I wonder where you'd find Chapter 2 of Alfin, then. I think that's where the merchant is. So, I'll be back here in a second. Okay, I hit level 10, and I want to show... Oh, oh, something that I found. So if you want to know where to go next, look at the world map. They actually have it pointed out. So you can see where Ethereon Chapter 2 is, you can see Alphen Level 2, and I am not even close to being the recommended levels for those, so I might get butchered if I try that. In terms of skills, real quick, I want to take a look is at 62. Whatever shall I do? I dropped my precious egg when I was crossing the bridge. You haven't seen it, have you? What for dash against a rock? Upon my honor, it was broken. Kaya, mother of dragons? Tell me more, would you? The girl who found a large egg, she claimed to float down the river to her. So we don't have as good a chance here. So out with it. Once upon a time, a girl volunteered to write her name in legend as a bandit queen. An item. Hold on, I want to reread that. He had dreams of having a way of change. So, isn't this the old lady from the graveyard? And, uh, there's Brooke. There are new people there that I need to rob, though. Sir! You wanna join a thieves gang? Didn't think you would. The thing is, Filchin's too much hard, too much like hard work for my liking, so I wanna quit. But I've gotta find a replacement before I do. It's one of the rules of the hardest gang. I'm surprised how hard it is to find a reliable outlaw these days. Bandit's code. 
damp hand of the fine art of thievery, this member of Marta's gang works with his brethren to rob the wealthy landowners and greedy nobles who exploit the poor and destitute through more socially accepted means. It's time for the poor and downtrodden to rise up. The high born taking everything from us, and it's time we take it back. Of course, we all wish there was a peaceful resolution. We can't stop the thought of losing anyone in a fight, but what course have we? If we want to prove our lot, that's the only chance we have. I'll take your sword. Even as a child, this man understood the great disparity between the rich and the poor of Boulderfall. Though he urges his comrades to take a part and seize a better life, in, the heart, in his heart of hearts, he wishes that there was another more peaceful land. Anything new in here? Feather Saber is really nice. I'm grabbing it. I want that accuracy. Uh, yeah, the accuracy and the sleep effect, I'd say, just makes this worthwhile. Do you even know Therion can equip a shield? And then I have those accessories, so let's go ahead and equip those real quick. Him first, because I thought I had one that'll give him speed. And then Elvin is going to do a dodging here. Not gonna bother with the sleep thing yet. No one. Yeah, you just go to him for forgiveness if you've done too many bad things. So, can Theory Shut. take this? Well, it'll be something to watch for as we go. I'm a little disappointed that, that one was recycled. I'm just doing all this work as I best I can. Hope one day catch the eye of the Ravenses. Traveling merchant of considerable experience who deals in various ores and precious stones. And who's adept at filling, filling the needs of the lapidary as he is of those of the apothecary? Given the mineral wealth of the Clifflands, it should come as no surprise that he reaches one of his favorite destinations. My tiger is dead and gone. We were together for years. He was like a friend to me. He gads, and I've missed that striped skin. The merchant claims to be a skilled ranger, though he boasts of being able to communicate with animals. Wild beasts do not seem to be particularly fond of him. It's not like the scarf he wears is made from the pelt of a fallen companion. That's kind of twisted, dude. Just for that, I'm taking your plum. What now? So I thought. Gods be with ye. You know Marta's gang. They're thieves, but they do good deeds too. They can get some of their ill-gotten gains away. Some say they helped an orphanage, but I can't seem to recall the name. Sorry. Perhaps if I inquire. This long-time resident of Holderfall comes to know everything that is worth knowing about the town's affairs. Only as deep and well informed, he has a habit of forgetting the most crucial details. Remembering much of his advice, altogether unreliable. Well, you'll counter just for that. I'm taking your plum and your nut. What are you up to? So you see, there's a spine chilly rumor going around that I scarce believe. The folk of the Slim Town are plotting to rebel against the King Highborn. Garrison may say they've been confiscating weapons by the carload. Makes me blood run cold. I wonder what his lordship will do. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Is that so? You've confiscated all the poor folks' weapons, and not a blade remains in their possession? Fair be to you, traveler. That's a fine deed if it be, to you, if it be true. Now they're defanged, we needn't fear the poor folk in their rebellious plot. Truth be told, I was once one of them. Until his lordship saved me from the life on the streets. Aye, the highborn have more gold than the rest of us, but they're fair and just and mistreat no one. There's good on both sides. We only have the sense to talk to one another. Rather that, then it's time to war that'll make everyone poorer than a four. We're all in your debt, Traveler. Got some money. So let's inquire. Plucked from light of the life of poverty by his lordship, this man intends to make the most of the opportunity he's been given. Through his not blinding strife between the nobility and the peasantry, he prays that one day the peoples of Boulderfall will find a way to live in harmony. So, bad news for you is I'm taking some that's. Ooh. 
So you can always save scum for this, and that would be so damn valuable if I got it. Sometimes I wonder if wealth is a sin. A student of his politics and history, this highborn man who hopes to use his education and his family's wealth to better the lot of all who dwell within Boulderfall. So we get project plans. I don't know what that actually does. I'll be taking that. Hello. I'm working here away from home, but my wife sent word that she's coming to visit. My work's not done here. I can't spend the time to meet her. I pray to God she finds honest company to travel with. Originally from the town of Swarky, this devoted husband is in many ways the perfect compliment to his wife, and that the endless labors he undertakes are said to be solely for her benefit. Indeed, his sense of self worth appears to be inextricably bound to his ability to provide for her. Well, then this is going to get kind of awkward for you when I steal your bow and your pomegranate. A somewhat naive clothier who has traveled a very long way in search of new markets. He has invested his entire fortune in this venture, having brought with him stock from Atliston, Grandport, Victor's Hollow, and other local cities. She's the other person, I believe, for the true ending, or what we're going to call the secret dungeon. Well, hello, the light in your eye. You have the, you have the look about you I like. But alas, you're not quite the one I'm looking for. I feel like I've been searching all my life for that one perfect person. Whoa! That woman. I think she just might be the perfect one for me. I have plenty of confidence in my sword. Countless battlefields have I conquered you. It was only when I returned from the field of war that I realized it. I gained nothing for all that I fought. That was when I realized what I was truly missing. My other half. My perfect woman. And that woman, oh, how can I ever get her to glance in my direction? Daughter of the Dark God Part 1 Mart. What? Sure I didn't miss anything here. Oh, right, I fired this guy. The current head of the household guard, he has sworn to defend House Ravis to his dying breath, as the captain before him did. Every day before the cock's crow, he begins his watch and does not rest until the moon sets. If he is impressive, it is impossible that Serge would demonstrate his singular devotion. So why do we have to get to level 10 to learn that? Not sure. So let's drop a save here real quick. Now, I want to look at that daughter quest. Side stories. Bobbing down the river, an egg, that's what. It wasn't no regular egg, I can tell you that. Bloody enormous it was. Bring her my head. Tell me more. A woman gro uh, growing a variety of vegetables near the river. She recommends the leafy ones most of all. Bring them to be flavorful, whether they're boiled, baked, or eaten raw. So an item has appeared somewhere. We'll look at that later. So I'm gonna gamble here. Be off with you. Not as dumb as they look. So when you fail your path actions, it kind of ruins your reputation. And then if you go too low, people don't really talk to you. So keep in mind, if you had the merchant girl, you could always buy this off her. And then you can always level up just to make it better. We'll go back to that 3%. Want a tangle, huh? My turn. That's fine. 
We'll go back to the 50% one later to see how the odds Here goes change nothing. time. <laughs> Here goes Out of my way. Damn. Over here! Here goes nothing! Well, at least I know these things Out are of my way. pretty big in terms of HP. Let's finish this one off. Out of my way. Here we go! <laughs> Try again! Those things are worth so little, man. So there's the giant egg. This is the beginning of your end. So I wonder if the reason Here we, we saw that was because we did the inquire, or if it would have been there regardless of being quiet. That I'm kind of curious about. My God. <laughs> Try again. We're gonna insta warp back to the town after I finish my business in Clearbrook. Actually, maybe going now. Will they let me insta warp from here, or do I have to be in town? Use your egg, mildly scrambled. Try my precious egg. All right. My egg. Thank the gods, there's not a crack on it. Isn't it wonderful? I had a dream, you see. It was ever so strange. A dragon appeared before me, and then it started to speak. It's funny, even though the dragon was enormous, I wasn't scared at all. It spoke like a highborn lady, ever so posh, and I could tell it was wise, too. The dragon said it would give me an egg, and then I had to take care of it. Well, it was just a dream, of course, but it seemed so real. So I went to the place the dragon told me about, and upon my honor, there was a giant egg. Well, after being sent there, of course, I had to take good care of it. The dragon told me something else, too. I heard that in the old days, all dragons were wise, and they'd often talk to folk like us. And now there are hardly any wise dragons left in the world. So I have to raise the baby dragon when it hatches and teach it to talk like people. There's a man in Quarrycrest who knows all there is to know about eggs. They say he's hatched everything from spiders to griffins. That's where I'm headed. If anyone can help me hatch this egg, it'll be him. Anyway, must be going. Thank you for finding my egg. Oh, my name's Kaya, by the way. If you ever need anything, just let me know. So that's where her quest will continue. Got a light note. So anyway, real quick, I picked up a couple levels outside. I'm wondering if I might have like a 4% chance on this guy now. Nope. We'll worry about that later. It would be pretty helpful now, but the thing is, it would only help on the level. So in case you're wondering why I'm not stressing out about, oh, I should get this real quick, I should reset endlessly to make sure that I get it. It's... it'd be nice, but it's not that big a deal. So what do you have for me? So the nice thing about this is that it weakens the enemy's attack, because that will not help your magic. So anyway, let's inquire. The doting granddaughter of an alien old man who traveled the world in his youth. Ever since she was a child, she admired her grandfather, whose exploits she endeavors to record as she cares for him in the final years of his life. Reveals a hidden item. So, 
in case you're wondering, the old man has stuff too, it's just you have to be able to move her out of the way with either Hannah or Old Barrack to get there. This is nice. This one, not so much, but... Yeah, we got it. These are not worth the risk. Everyone agrees, Magic Scoon is the best in town, especially the prawns. There's nothing I give her taste I want. Even the plunder love them. Dropped a bowl in the river the other day and turned into a feeding frenzy. Tell me more of this. More plentiful provisions. A devoted connoisseur of Magic's cuisine who has eaten every dish on the menu. No other fare can seem to satisfy his cravings, and in recent days he refused to eat at home, much to the chagrin of his family. So, new stuff at the armory. I'll take the essence of grape. I'm not gonna bother with the plum. Well met, travelers. You're building empty after your journey. Then fit it with one of my delectable dishes. You won't be disappointed. Tell me more about these dishes, you say. This culinarian uses only the finest local fish to make simple fare that is beloved by all. Every day people flock to his establishment to enjoy what some have called the true taste of Clearbrook. Saucy prawn. Hmm, so that seems like it's part of a side quest. So if you want to restore your reputation, there you go, hear a tale. Okay, so this is how you replay those, I guess, in case you missed something? That's interesting. Uh, equipment, I assume that's probably for other party members. We're gonna travel on. No one moved into my place while I was gone. That was thoughtful of them. Since it's... Yeah. Give me that alibi. I'm taking your sleep weed anyway. Jerk. Just toss that brat in the river. Battle axe. Like, it's something to sell. It's not really anything worth keeping. So, we have a cleaver up for grabs here. This takes away my magic, but gives me crit, so I'm not really that interested in it. Uh, arcane knife. This would boost his magic attack, but I'd rather keep the evasion. I don't know what I'm going to show in terms of fights, because I dodged a lot of stuff on my way here. Elemental Light Arm. Wow! That is a lot of speed, man. We can't rob our best friend. Yet. I don't know why those alchemy components are so hard to take. I mean, a lot of them are worthless on them. So this is my first time seeing a bunch. Silver axe. So out of curiosity, if I were to equip that here... Like, I deal more damage just like with the battle axe. It's just, it's not worth losing my ice spell. Even if I can't use the ice spell as much. So this is the old bag that has the repeated text, just for that I'm taking your seed. And I'll teach you to copy someone else's story. Dubious gold ore, we can sell that for money I assume. Real quick, I'm gonna drop a save. Wonder how long this video actually is, since I had to stop recording this so damn often. I actually don't know how it's fitting in terms of time. Now, I was thinking about putting this part in fast forward. That way, it's fast for people to watch. It's faster to edit and upload and everything. And then we'll end when we reach Shadesdale, or the place is called, where we'll find Primrose. I also wanted to do a sweep of the town there to make sure that there weren't any side quests that appeared while I was out.
Bring it on! My turn. Stupid slug. Bring it on! Come on, miss, 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 miss. No! <laughs> Here we go! Ha! <laughs> Try again! So I think I actually have enough to learn a new skill. <laughs> I have more than enough. So I'm gonna shackle. Give me incidental attack. Use a non damaging skill and fill this 50% chance you will attack as well. So it's kind of like a mug type thing that only works half the time. But I am well over leveled for this. Olive of Life, that's a thousand whatever item. I'm just gonna call it gold, I think. Because they have a symbol, and they don't actually give a name for that. Not yet. I imagine they might in the merchant chapter. This is the beginning of the Here we go! That sucks. Eh, we can do it this way. Freeze. <laughs> Should give us a flawless. Uh, I get my SP back when I fight something that's a little. And bad. that's that. Actually, it was only worth five currency, five gold. Clear book, sunshade. What's up here, then? It's probably a dungeon, but I want to mark on my map. Let's see what you got. So I can't stop them both. Here we go. The enemies here pay less than Boulder Fall, and I'm not entirely sure what's going on or why. So I'm just gonna duck in here and turn around and leave so it appears on my map. We'll get a look at the inside. Dangerous place. So this is someone's chapter two. See what you got. <laughs> B takes priority. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Here Where's goes all your evasion, man. Cool off. Bring it on. Cool off. And that's that. Clear book. Saints Bridge. That's someone's chapter two. We'll worry about that when the time comes. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Bring it on! Don't Here we go. That's what I'm talking about.
Sunshade Sands. Let's see what you Dung got. Beetles, except with cacti. Here goes nothing. Not weak to. Whoa! At least, or my dagger. Oh, you had me? I thought Primo was fought with dagger. Here we go. Maybe not. Cool off. Oh god, these things are weak to magic. <laughs> there might be one weapon type that they're weak to, but I do not have it. <laughs> this place is gonna be brutal. Oh, you had me? Whoa! <laughs> Where's the nearest tavern? Sunshade Clearwood. To cobblestone to the right. Let's see what you got. So there's our friend the putty tad again. Here we go! Freeze. <laughs> Unreal man. <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you're supposed All to feel right. like that. Cool off! Probably need those accuracy weapons I've been training from. My turn. I was hoping that would put it to sleep. Bring it on! Ha! Try again! Old coin. Sanctuary. So, like last time before I do anything, I'm just gonna drop the save and call it a day. Save point. Where is the save point? There you go. So that's Primrose right there, and we'll pick up here next time. <laughs>